Hi, welcome to my brief video. In it, I'm going to show you about streaming UK TV online. Now, for this example, I'm going to show you the BBC, but this um, procedure I'm going to show you works with all the UK TV stations um, Channel 4, Channel 5, ITV, all work perfectly well. Okay, so how do we do it? Let's just see what the issue is first. As you probably know, if you try and access the BBC from outside the UK, it will look up your IP address and it will redirect you to this, which is the international version of the BBC, bbc.com. <clears throat> the problem is with this, it's missing a lot of key components that the UK British uh, BBC site has. So there's no iPlayer um, link, iPlayer won't work uh, outside the UK, and also the live streaming. So say if you wanted to watch whatever's on broadcasting at this moment on the UK version there's normally a little link there and you can click through to live TV and watch the news or whatever uh, match of the day uh, but because we're on the international version because it's seen our IP address um, I can't see anything so I just see all the news um, at the, it's still a good website but none of the online media stuff's available okay so what do we do about it as I mentioned it's all down to my IP address. At the moment, I've got a French IP address and the BBC says, okay, you're outside the UK, you're in France, we'll give you this version instead. So all we need to do is change our IP address. Now, it used to be able to do this using a few free versions of proxies and stuff like that. Uh, they don't really work anymore. Most of them are blocked. Um, the BBC has started blocking loads of commercial-based um, products. So what it is, is best to find um, a very low key security product that I'm going to recommend here that has never got blocked by any of these channels and you can change your IP address. So let's just finish off here and I'll show you the program. It's called Identity Cloaker and here it is. It sits in my taskbar and it basically gives me control over all my IP address, what I'm connected to. So if I want to come from France, I select the French IP address. If I want uh, the UK, I click a UK IP address. American. American is really handy if you have something like a Netflix um, account. Because if you switch to a US server, you get the US version of Netflix, which has got loads of new stuff that doesn't reach all the European stuff, um, Netflix versions. There's loads and loads, believe me, but literally thousands of more films and movies on American Netflix. But okay, well, let's get back to the point here. We're talking about the UK here, and I'm going to show you how to stream from outside the UK, the BBC, for an example. So all I need to do is select a UK server. Um, I've blurred these out, but basically there's, there's all a list of servers here. Um, let me just read some of the countries. Swiss, Germany, uh, Czechoslovakia... Ooh, don't know what that flag is. Um, Portugal, Russia, loads and loads and loads and loads of UK servers because thousands of people use this security program for exactly the same thing. Okay, so let me just pick a fast UK server and I'm now connected. Okay, so I've now got a UK IP address. I haven't changed my IP address. I'm just routing all my traffic through this UK server. Again, it's a very fast server and it compresses the data as it goes through. So you shouldn't notice any speed difference. Right, let's minimize this and let me start um, a browser. Oh, we'll start Firefox here. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the BBC and we're going to see the difference now. Okay, so I've now got a UK IP address and you can see that the website changes slightly. Okay, so there's still all the, the news and stuff there. But you can see in this top thing here, I have a link for the iPlayer. So I can now fire up BBC iPlayer and it will work perfect. If I go to TV, I will go through to this screen, which you don't see on the international version. And here I can watch whatever's on now, Escape to the Country, Tennis World Tour Finals, all these. Uh, there's a few of these stations don't work on um, the UK TV, they're, they're licensing issues, but you can do things like watch the news um, perfectly well. There you go. I'll just stop that. 
uh, and it works perfectly well. And um, you can watch anything you like, just as if you were in the UK. It all streams perfectly well, and the iPlayer is uh, catch-up stuff, you know, so things that have been broadcast. This is the live TV. Works the same with Channel 4, Channel 5. You won't get blocked on any of them. I should point out when you use ITV, ITV player wants you to register. So you have to go and register an account and give a UK postal code. So make sure you've got a UK postal code handy before you um, sign up to ITV. But again, it works exactly the same. And that's basically how you stream UK TV. This is a Density Cloaker. There's a discount code um, on the screen somewhere, which you can get, uh, I think it's 15% off. Um, it doesn't work off the free trial, uh, the 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 ten day trial, which is about four dollars or five dollars or something. Uh, but um, it'll work off the bigger accounts, so it's probably best to try the the ten day trial first, see if it works all right for you, and then come back and get the code and use it if you go for a, a year subscription or something like that. I've been using this program to watch um, British TV and American, Australian, Canadian TV, for that fact. Uh, for many years now, it's never got blocked anywhere, and um, it works perfectly. You can also use it on your um, iPhone or Android phone or tablet. Um, you have to set up the connection manually, but it's pretty easy to do. Uh, and there is a Mac version as well, so you can use it on all these different devices. You just need the one subscription. Currently, there's no limit on um, what you can use. Okay, I'm going to finish now. Um, I hope this has been of help and thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.